Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to a holiday edition of Remarkable TV. Today, a scary subject, conflict. And today we're gonna to talk about three things you can do to overcome any conflict. Are you ready? It's Halloween week, and what better to talk about on Halloween week than conflict? Like, it's scary, we all get involved in it. And so today, I've got with me my friend and colleague and co-author, Guy Harris, and we're gonna talk about three things all of us can do when we find ourselves in a conflict situation. So listen carefully. Guy, tell us about those three things we can do that we, that we wanna make sure we do when we're in a conflict situation. Well, the three things we wanna do in every conflict to move it from conflict to resolution is one, focus on the future, two, avoid personal attacks, and three, take responsibility. Those are the three bottom line ideas. Okay, so let's talk about each of them just a yep. little bit. So first one, uh, focus on the future. What do you mean by that? I mean, the conflict is happening because of something that we did in the exactly. past. So like, tell me what you mean by that. Exactly, so one of the challenges is that if we talk too much about the past and stay in it, we shift into blame and criticism and condemnation, all kinds of things that just escalate the conflict. So we want to learn from our experience in the past so we can figure out how we got where we are and then we want to shift the conversation as quickly as possible to what are we going to do in the future so that this conflict doesn't continue. Okay, so listen, we're in this conflict because yeah. you screwed up. Oh, Let me clearly. just say, you yeah. screwed up. So how, do, how am I supposed to deal with a conflict when I'm working with some bonehead uh, <laughs> and not make personal attacks? Like, so it's easy to say. Yeah. Talk us through that a little bit more. Well, one of the things you, you started there is that a personal attack thing is a, uh, a, it's a slippery slope kind of challenge. And it's so tempting to say it's completely the other person's fault. And so to avoid personal attacks, what we want to do is really focus on talking about the behaviors that were a problem rather than making it about the person. So the behaviors involved or the business issue we're trying to solve or the, the outcome we're trying to reach as opposed to the person I'm involved in the conflict with. So there's a difference between what you did and who you are, and maybe that I should is. focus on that a little That's bit, right? That's the idea, yeah. Okay, and then the last thing you said was? Take responsibility. Take responsibility. So you sort of said a little bit about that already, that the conflict, you mean part of it's really my responsibility, my yeah, fault it's even? Sad. I, I can honestly say that I've never been in a conflict that was 100% the other person's fault. So I, I would say that even if it's only 10% my fault, I should at least own that part, the piece that I contributed to it. And I, I got to try to be objective and fair in my evaluation. What did I do? Did I say something that was a little aggressive or did I withhold information from a person, even if it was unintentionally? I got to own what I did in order to get out of that blame cycle and go to the future. Well, even if what I said, even if even if you misinterpreted what I said, it's still what I said. Exactly. So I still right. need to right. own at least at an absolute minimum that odds are most of the time we need to own more than ten percent. Probably true. Yeah, to your that's point, that's probably true. So uh, this, I, I want to close with today's tweet. First of all, I want to wish everyone a happy Halloween. Yeah. But I want to close with today's tweet that's only about part of what we talked about. Right. But it, it it goes back to the first thing you said. And mm -hmm. I think it's really important to leave us with. It'll help you get past some of the scariness of your conflict. And here is today's Halloween week tweet. When resolving conflicts, learn from, but don't live in the past. Conflict is hard, but you already know that. The reason I had Guy join me today is because he is a true certified expert in conflict resolution. But we all know that we want more than just resolution. We want to be able to resolve conflict with confidence, which is why Guy has created the workshop, Conflict Confidence. In this two-day workshop, Guy can help you overcome your challenges, provide you with hundreds of practical strategies, and get you to the place where you can resolve conflict successfully and confidently. I hope that you will want to join Guy for an upcoming workshop where he will lead you through this ex experiential learning experience. You can learn more about joining us in a future workshop or having Guy come on site to work with you by clicking on the links below.